Look at all this shit out here in the yard. The guy started a fire in the basement and then he left. I mean, just unbelievable. Un freaking believable. Damn lucky he didn't burn that whole house down. That's my boots. Can't they like like if you don't have water in your house in the health department because you can't have you know you can't flush your toilets? Can't they not? You can't really habitate a house like that, That's right? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I think chips on top of the water for all this, but the water's back on. And it's like well, he probably turned it on himself. I mean, all you need well, is kind of channel. Unless they unless they locked he, it. Yeah. He flipped that metal. The uh, lid yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. And, so and so all you got to do. Well, no. One of my neighbors says he was cutting the deck down with a hatchet or something. Yes, and he painted his name on the front yesterday. Uh, yes, and he poured it, he took his glove and he painted it all on there. And well, I knew something was funny when I saw red spray paint on the air conditioners. And I was like, well, oh, yeah, this doesn't look right. Heard that he got vandalized, but actually. Yeah, that's what the I thought. The landlord said, no, he did. It said he, he uh, spray paints everything. Well, I don't so you're saying the landlord helped him get yes, this house? Yes, I think that's yes. what that's what Larry Williams called He was over here right? today, and he was just because he wanted him out of his there. neighborhood. And nice. the guy was going to <laughs> a nice like he was the, the, the landlord, the landlord, landlord, was landlord was saying, I "Yeah, told he helped him buy the, or he helped him find this place." Like, yeah. he, was, like yeah. he was a father fussing at him. Oh. And I said, uh, "I'll by myself, and I'll slid into the garage because I got everything." Possibly you. Since you're such an old lady. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'm not surprised at this at all. I really am. Yeah, I don't mind you saying that. And you know, I'm you know, I'm picking. Yeah, way to start the new year, yeah. right? <laughs> he told Jeff that day, Jeff was calling huh. some leaves off and he stopped. So, how long? He said, if you have a um, Christmas tree, bring it on over. And he said, we'll mulch it and make you some kind bark. Jeff said, I don't have any Christmas tree. And he got talking. He said, I'm Stephen Sons, so I'm your neighbor. Jeff said, I know. He said, I live next to you. Stephen and, Goodwin. Uh, he said, well, I thought an old lady just lived there. Just said, oh, he said, you might want to think that. He said, my wife lives there. He said, oh, I just met a lady. So I had to open my mouth and tell Brian. So, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to let her live it down now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I feel bad for <laughs> you, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. You're, my you're, husband's sort of a neat guy, and he's <sighs> just, he's, He's really done well because he just was sorry for me yeah. staying at it. But some trash blew over here, and he said the other day, I've just about had it. I <laughs> have to say something. <laughs> That's it. He really but he tell. just keeps he's saying, telling. I don't think he's going to no. be here long. He's I don't think he's going to be here long. Well, there he is. He's probably going to say, y'all want to come in? That's just well, he doesn't I think he's this. pleading for somebody to help him. That's not what it seems like. Yeah. yeah, I'm All right, good night. Hey, yeah, I'm telling you, I'll take that. All right. Well, hope it goes up but you didn't walk, you better. Didn't no, I'm over, okay. I'm over here. Right. Yeah, I got bad feet, so I can't walk okay. that very good anyway. <laughs> yeah, see you guys later. <laughs> oh, boy. A little excitement. Jumps the cars. That's a sheriff. Yeah, this guy's, he's got to go. I'm sorry. He's just a little too close to my house for comfort. <sighs> Man, I'm freezing. That's pretty. Man, they called everybody out. Man, these poor people have to work on New Year's Eve as bad as it is, and then you got assholes like this setting their house on fire.
Unreal. All right. Coming to you live from Freeburg Place. That's your accident reporter, J.A. Bradley, signing off.